So in this recording, I'll walk you through how to use flash print and the pause feature of the advanced print options in order to have the printer pause while you're printing in order to change the filament colors. So in this instance, I just have a simple JPEG that I've designed uh, within AutoDraw. And for those of you that aren't familiar, once you've created it, then you can click download. Um, and then once I do that, then I can pull the file into flash print. So once I find it in my downloads, then I'll just click and drag the file in. Uh, base thickness is 0 0.01. That is the thinnest that flash print will let you use. So then you can just press OK. You wind up with an image that looks like this. And if we were to just take it to print on the lowest setting, then we would wind up with A file that looks like this. Okay, but um, a quick and easy way to determine how you're going to uh, change your print options to get the bicolor look. I actually use cut, and if I select the image and then use the Z axis, you can see that you can drag it up and down. And so I want to ensure that some of it is going to be one color and then I can print the rest another color. So I'll say, okay, so that's 3.76 millimeters in the cut plane. I'm not actually going to cut it. I'm simply using that as a measurement. So 3.76, just jotted it down so that way I can remember it. So then if I click print instead and then go to more options under other, then I can change my pause at heights and I'm going to remember what I just had, which is 3.76. I don't think I'm going to be able to put in the six. So I'll just do 3.7 and then press the plus symbol and then press okay and then okay. And I wind up with the GX file again, I'm going to overwrite it. Okay, and basically what we'll wind up getting, and it's hard to tell in here, um, you don't really get the visual, but I'll show you guys the after effect in a separate video, is that it's going to be printing, and then when it gets the 3.7, it will stop, it will drop the print bed down, I'll be able to manually change the filament color, and then I'll be able to resume the print. So here would be my multicolored print using the pause at height 
I could have done a little bit thicker for the purple, but I always want to make sure that I have plenty of the base color before I move on. Uh, if you look at it from the side, you can see there was plenty of white that I left in there, so I, I arguably could have made that a little bit thinner. Um, however, it still accomplished the same job. Uh, if you didn't want to use the pause at height, you could also use the flash print icon on the screen and then um, pause it manually and do a fill and change and then resume the print and that works just fine. I happen to use the pause at height because I'm lazy and I would rather not babysit the printer in order to ensure that I do it at the right time. I've done this same procedure on... Uh, a print bat on a name badge as well. So that's a very, very thin green layer on the back. And then I changed to the white and then I changed again back to the green. And so then you wind up with a multicolored print um, just by using the stop at height. So that's how you use flash print to print in multiple colors. I hope that helps.